Okay, today we're going to talk about area of trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. So our objectives are we want you to learn to find the area of a trapezoid, and we also want you to learn to find the area of a rhombus or a kite. So here we go. Let's first talk about the area of a trapezoid. Now the area of a trapezoid, if you kind of think of it as a trapezoid is like the bottom half of a triangle, then this formula is going to make a little bit more sense. So the area of a trapezoid is half the product, product, not produce, I love it when I find errors, of its height and the sum of the lengths of its bases. So if this is base one up here, and this is base two down here, and the height, remember, is perpendicular to the bases. And so then once we know these three pieces of information, we can figure out the area of a trapezoid. Okay, so just like the area of a triangle is one half base times height, the trapezoid we average um, those bases, well, we add them together, and, and uh, one half of that times the height is our area. So let's look at an example of this. So we have an area of a trapezoid whose bases measure three centimeters and seven centimeters and whose height is five centimeters. So area is one half times the height times base one plus base two, which is one half times five times three plus seven, right? Now remember, three and seven have units of centimeters as does five. So that's 1 half times 5 times 10, right? And so we will end up with 25 centimeters squared is our area. Now let's talk about the area of a kite. And by that we mean a rhombus because a rhombus is a type of a kite. So, on a kite, will we still use base and height? No, we actually end up using the diagonal lengths to find the areas because we don't have parallel bases or anything like that. So, kites are kind of weird. So, um, the formula that your book uses is one half times the product of the diagonals, which is this formula right here. But another one that's really easy to do is if you just have diagonal one times diagonal two divided by two. It's the same thing, it's just a little bit more compact and it's what you'll end up doing on your calculator as well. So we take the diagonal length for two, diagonal length for one, multiply them, divide by two, we're done. Now remember, because a rhombus is a kite, even though they have parallel bases, you can use the parallelogram formula or you can use the kite formula, whichever you happen to have the information for. So a rhombus is a very special thing because it is both a parallelogram as well as a kite. So let's take a look at this couple of examples. So here in example one, we have diagonal one is a total of 18. Diagonal two is a total of, we're gonna say 14. Or seven feet. So this is the this is the tricky part um, when you're dealing with this how to tell if they're talking about the full length of diag the diagonal or if they're just talking about part of it. And it looks like with our book they're going to just give you the different parts of the diagonal and let you add them up. Um, yeah, that looks like what they're doing with that. So, area for this one is going to be um, 5 plus 13 times 7 plus 7 divided by 2. So that is 18 times 14 divided by 2. So that gives us with an area of 126 feet squared, okay? Now with this next one, we see that we have an area given, but not um, the rest of the diagonals. So we need to know, we know that this is 12, we know that the other one is 12. What we're looking for is the length of this whole diagonal. 
So if we know that 192 centimeters squared equals one half times um, 12 plus 12 times base 2, right? Then we can figure out um, what uh, the length of base 2 is. So 192 will equal 1 half times 24, which is 12. So base 2 will equal 96 centimeters, okay? So that's a pretty big kite there that we've got. So just a couple of examples. So we've learned to find the area of trapezoids, we've learned to find the area of kites, and because a kite is a rhombus is a kite, we have also learned to find the area of a rhombus using our diagonal formulas. So that's it for today.